So hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be looking at introduction to three dimensional plotting using matplotlib in Python. And we will be looking to plot 3D bar plots, scatter plots and line plots using matplotlib in three dimension. So before we move on to the video, do like and share this video so it can reach to a wider audience and subscribe to my channel to receive upcoming notifications. Now I'll move on to this collab notebook. The link to this collab notebook will be available in the channel uh, in the video description alongside the channel description. And you can also find a dedicated video on how to navigate to collab notebook, which I have mentioned in the playlist of this tutorial series. So we have learned till now about bar plots, scatter plots, line plots, styling we can apply, histograms. And now we will move on to 3D plotting. So what is 3D plotting? So in 3D plotting, 3D plots are very important tools for discussing data that have three dimensions such as data that have two independent and one dependent variable. So by plotting data in 3D plots, we can get a deeper understanding of data that have three variables. We can use various matplotlib library functions to plot 3D plots. The main thing which we have to do here in 3D plotting is we have to change the axis of the normal plots. So by default matplotlib has two dimensional plots as default and to change it into three dimensional we need to change something called as projection parameter in the matplotlib figure. So I'll just uh, show you an example of how it can be done. So for that you need to I'll just create a new code block to just show you to create how the axis, 3D axis of the chart looks like when you add the projection equal to 3D. So I'll just create a figure. So after creating the figure, I will create a subplot from that figure. I will create a subplot from the figure and after that I'll add the projection equal to 3D parameter to it. So that will create a 3D parameter. So if I run this, it is connecting. Oh, I'll have to run all the code blocks before it will give me an error. We'll wait for this to connect first. So I'll just run this cells and then I will run this. It will just take a time. So before, yeah, as you can see, this is the 3D grid on which we will plot our three dimensional graphs on. So in this way, we can create a three dimensional projection grid using the figure and adding subplot to that figure so that we can display our 3D plots to it. Now moving on to the documentation for 3D plots so you can learn more about it. You can just go to Google and go to 3D plots and matplotlib and it will give uh, send us to that documentation. There are various plots available here which can be seen to create the 3D plots. So in this video we will cover the 3D histograms or the 3D scatter plots alongside the 3D line plots as well. There are various examples which you can see from this official documentation itself. If you go on to any one of the example, you will see that they have also created a projection equal to 3D to create this 3D grid for plotting the data. So there are various examples you can see here as well. So that will help you to better grasp how this works. So this above figure here, this is a three dimensional axis which is enabled and data can be plotted in these three dimensions with this being the x axis, this being the y axis and this being the z axis. So to plot a 3D line graph, we will just need th uh, the x, y and z coordinates. So using I have defined these three arrays with random x coordinates, y coordinates and z coordinates in the default code block. You can change this as well. And for this, I'll again 
to plot this 3d line plot i'll need to create a figure again to create this grid like box uh, instead of copying i'll just write it again i'll add the projection equal to 3d this projection equal to 3d is the most important part and after doing that i'll create a 3d grid and i will just normally plot the all the three coordinates inside this 3d grid so to plot the normal line graph which we have seen in the previous videos we would just pass in the two parameters x and y and to plot the 3d plot we will just pass in the third parameter z so on doing this we see the line here we can also further customize the line by adding further parameters to this plot function which you can surely do as you can see if i'll change this parameters here my lines will also get changed so depending on that as you can see it comes to 4 instead of 9 so you can turn around and you know do some examples to further learn this topic better moving on to 3d scatter plots now 3d scatter plots is a great way to represent data in a better format so to show the 3d scatter plot we will use the dot scatter function itself but we would again need a subplot of 3d projection to display that so this time i'll copy this uh, two lines which creates a 3d grid which i had showcased two times before so this creates my plot now to add the data into this what i will require is if you remember the tutorial of scatter plot i'll just scroll there we give it x and y which is the coordinates of x and y and we will as we had seen for scatter plots we require the x coordinates and y coordinates alongside the size and the colors parameter to display our uh, points on the scatter plot so for creating 3d scatter plot all these things would remain the same but we would require an extra y location to display our scatter points on the y, uh, on the z axis as well we will need a z coordinate sorry for the previous mistake we will need a z coordinate alongside all this to display the scatter plot in the three uh, in the 3d dimension so as you can see i have copied the same code from above here i have taken in the x y and z coordinates alongside the size and colors for the points i have created a 3d plot using projection equal to 3d now i will just add the normal scatter function and pass in this three coordinates here i can write the colors equal to colors here to specify the colors and i'll specify the size as well as i want to differentiate all the points randomly and i'll just add a marker to better display the plot so this creates my 3d plot here which is a 3d scatter plot of different uh, points on the x y and z dimension now to better understand how the x y and z coordinates work here in the 3d plotting dimensions we will create an example of 3d bar plot now 3d bar plot will make you understand how the plotting dimensions work more better now moving on to 3d bar plots now if you are using my collab you will know that i have given certain code blocks here to create the 3d bar plot we will define the distance from plane so if we consider x y and z the distance of plane would be how far the point are from the given uh, axis so i'll just plot it first to show you how it is done and then i will explain it using the graph so i'll create the 3d projection here again add the projection equal to 3d parameter yeah. so after doing this i will create an array of x y and you know z coordinates to display the result i am randomly adding five points you can also create anything so i'll leave the z here zero by default as changing this would result in bar uplifting from plane I will show you how that is done and this dx dy dz are the parameters which are required which 
specifies the length of bar graph in the direction so for now i will just uh, create random points here you can change it as well yeah so i have uh, defined these points which are x y z and the length which is dx dy and dz to plot the bar plot you have the function called bar 3d in the matplotlib library you will use that function and pass in these three parameters alongside their dx dy and dz and i'll just also pass in color to better visualize it. once i write this code and run this code it will give me a bar plot now we will see what x y and z means first here which is distance from plane now as you will see the first plane has distance of 1 2 3 4 and 5 from the x axis so it would mean that the first plane so the first bar block is at distance of 1 the second bar plot is distance of 2 third block is distance of 3 and so on in this way it is a distance where the length of bar implies that how much length of the bar is in the direction so the first point here has a direction of 1 hence its length is 1 in the x direction the second block also has length of 1 hence it also has a length of second as 1 y has the length of 1 so it is also 1 but if you will see the last point has the length of 2 in the x direction it would mean that it would stretch for the length of 2 units in the x direction similarly for the uh, z direction so the z direction is this plane so if you see the second point is 8 units in the z direction it would mean that this block here would be 8 units in the z direction and it is one direction in y hence it would grow to 1 in the y axis so in this way the length of bar is calculated and this is the position of the points so 1 comma 3 is the position of this block then there is 2 comma 6 which is position of this block now z here means the upliftment so if i change the second point to 2 it would mean that it will start from second height on the plot so it would uplift it from the plot as you can see the bar plot here of the second coordinate has been uplifted by 2 which has reduced its size compared previously i will change it to 0 again so this would result in uh, creating stunning bar plots using 3d and we can better visualize your data so that you can create uh, great plots which give you insights about your data as well. So to create a simple 3D plots you require all this thing the important being creating the 3D access grid. After that you can go to the matplotlib documentation to see various different graphs available. The weather graphs are better created using the 3D plots as it helps to visualize the contours or the geographical locations in the 3d format so those are preferred to create heat maps for weather and weather conditions and you know geographical topologies so this comes to an end for this video in this video we learned about introduction to 3d plotting 3d bar graphs 3d scatter plots and 3d line plots thank you for watching this video do like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for further videos thank you for watching do mention in the comments below if you would like me to see something else or explain something again. Thank you.